shirt? No. Underwear. Yep. Do you work here? Yeah. If I bought all of these, right. would you do $1.50? Then $1.99. As if I bought them all. How, what are they priced at right now? They're $1.99. And you want to do $1.50 for all of them? For, I'm good on that. Okay. Actually, I might even do better if you take okay. the over there. Yep, I'm, I'm two back there. Okay, well, I'll definitely take the dish set for 20. Okay. And I'll, I guess these are free? Yeah, those are free. Okay, uh, if I was going to get something free, I have to buy I'm something. I'm carrying the box after your board. How do you not take nothing? <laughs> 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 wrap them back up here. Today we just have one order going out for a little over $83. This is a new Fruit of the Loom men's six pack knit boxers. No bunching size, no bunching size large. These are a size 36 to 38 inches. These are the ones that I picked up when I was up in Nevada visiting family. Picked up a bunch of underwear, all brand new in the package at a thrift store. I'm into each one of them, each package for $4. So total cost of goods on this order is $16. Oh. No. Underwear. Yep. No price on this one. I'll assume it's probably four. Let's see. Give me some of these. No, no, I got it. And these are the last ones that we have. It was a multi-quantity. This buyer came in and bought all four of them. So it's all these right here. Take one down. As you can see, I still have the thrift store price on it. So all of these sold for $79.88. And the buyer is paying $15.13. And the buyer is paying $15.35 in shipping. Today we've got eight orders going out for $293. So let's get to work. First thing we have going out is a vintage planet, is a vintage planet plush Gemini yellow zodiac. Zodiac bear does date back to 1999. It is new, sealed in the bag, and this is on this is in bin A2. So we're going over here. Now, this is part of that huge high bit of hole that we picked up. A2. No, A2 is going to be over here. Right here. And... That's not it. Yep, this should be it right here. So it's this little guy right here. This sold for $12.71 and the buyer is paying $6.30 in shipping. Next thing going out, this is a pair of Nike Men's Revolution 3 running shoes and these are size eight and a half. Now pick these up at garage sale here in town and they were free.
What's that? Okay, well, I'll definitely take the dish set for 20, okay. and I'll, I guess these are free? Yeah, those are free. Okay, uh, if I was going to get something free, I have to buy I'm something. I'll carry the box after your board. I don't even have to take nothing. <laughs> <laughs> wrap them back up here. Free? So I looked at them. The condition looked pretty decent, so I went and listed them. Didn't sell for that much. It's going to be these guys right here. So into these for nothing. These sold for $2,206 and the buyer is paying $12.95 in shipping. Have a set of six Fall for Graph Amalfi Classic. These are the soup cereal bowls. Had eight in the set, but two of them had chips in it, so I decided just to throw those away and list all six together. Pick these up at a garage sale. I'm into them now. Pick these up at a local thrift store. I'm into them for $25 for the entire set. So those are going to be on shelf 15. Should be these guys right here. Let's take this guy out. So it's all six of these. All six of these sold for $29.71 and the buyer is paying $16.35 in shipping. Next thing going out, this is a GE Electric. It was model 7-4612A. It is vintage. It was a clock radio alarm. This is in bin E2. And pick this up at the thrift store. I'm into it for a dollar. So we're looking for E2. It should be this right here. Move this guy out of the way. It should be right there on top. Let's see if we can get this out. Nope. So it's this right here, again, into it for a dollar. This sold for $22.06, and the buyer is paying at $9.90 in shipping. Next thing going out, we have another piece of the vintage Joanne Hovland. This is the blue garland, and it is Bulvarian. This is a covered vegetable bowl casserole. This is also on shelf 15, so we're coming back over here. It should be this one right here. So it looks like these pieces are moving out, so that's good, making room on the shelf. This right here, the entire set I bought at a garage sale where I actually picked up those. Did you sell the car yet? Oh yeah, I got rid of that one. I'll see which one you're talking about. I've had several. Okay, it was the... Um... Pro Street Camaro. Yes. Yeah, it went to Ridgewood, Illinois. Oh, really? Yeah. I should have kept it Rich Chevelle I had. That is double in its price what I sold it for. That whole set's for $20. There's two more boxes down below. I just didn't drag it all out. Date plates and cups and saucers and bowls. Is it a full set? Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's think about that one. I think I bought some dishes from you the last time. Probably did. <laughs> Probably did. Sneakers we just sold. Picked up this entire set for $20. This sold for 2036 and the buyer is paying 1550 in shipping. We have another one of the vintage men's long underwear. These are new acrylic knit super blend men's crew neck. It is long sleeve thermal undershirt. This is size large. So this is off of that huge high bit haul. 
and this is in bin P. Okay, it says it should be right down here. And yep, this is it right here. So this was in that one of the lots. It's had a bunch of gloves on it. I didn't see underneath that it had a whole bunch of uh, vintage long underwear. So once I saw those, I went and pulled those out and got those listed right away. The reason I went in there is I needed a pair of gloves. So I went in there and just pulled a pair of work gloves out of there. So cost of goods into this is probably between 25, 50 cents. This sold for $14.41, and the buyer is paying $7.05 in shipping. Now, this next item, this is going to be in bin Z, which is just right here. This is 12 pieces insect in resin specimen bugs collection. I did pick this up when I went to the Trash to Cash Winter Bash early this year, and I Went garage sale with a bunch of other resellers. Picked this up. I'm into it for a dollar. So this is going to be... Should be right on top. And I think it's these right here. So yes. These right here. Into these for a dollar. All 12 of these. Trying to show you up, up close. Sold for $17.76, and the buyer is paying $8.85 in shipping. And the last thing we have going out, just listed this over the weekend. This is a Zenith VRA422. It is a four-head VHS player, VCR recorder. And I also put in the title, Cables and New Blank VHS Tape. That's going to be on shelf 06, so it's going to be over on the other side here. And it should be this guy right here. I picked it up at thrift store. I believe I'm into it for $3. I did test it. Everything works. Let me set the camera down. So it's this guy right here. Didn't have the remote. If I had the remote, probably could have got a little bit more for it. But glad to see this thing's moving out so quickly. Now, if you notice, when I do my VCRs, I like to include RC cables. And if I have them on hand, a blank VHS tape. So this sold for $40.90. And the buyer is paying $22.35 in shipping. back in the eBay store. Today, we've got two orders that have to go out, so I'll get those packed up. And we have five orders going out for close to $200, so let's get busy. First item we have going out is a thrift store item. Surprise. Are you serious? This is a vintage set of Libby Tawny Garden Party Tumbler Butterfly. Had a set of three. Pick these up at a local thrift store. I'm into them for a dollar. These are on shelf 08. So that should be right over here, which is our new shelf 8. Okay, and it's these three right here. Let's grab one of them right here to show you. So yeah, I bought three of these for a dollar. I'm only going to pick up one of these. I don't want to pick up all three of them, scratch them up or anything like that. But it's these ones right here. These sold for, all three of them sold for $20.84. And the buyer is paying $11.80 in shipping. Next item going out, another thrift store item. This is a dry fire 
flame resistant stain straight leg jeans cat 2 not sure what EBT means 15 men's size 35 to 34 and I also put weld and I put new in the title these are in bin Y2 that's going to be right here and it's going to be these right here so you can see these are brand new still in the bag now, I did take it out of the bag because the back was, was not sealed to take the photos. Paid $5 from one of the local thrift stores. These sold for $33.02 and the buyer is paying $11.80 in shipping. Next thing going out, we have another set of the Kellogg Bowls going out. This is probably one of the... I wouldn't say the best thing, but it's been a really good um, item that I picked up, and they're doing really well. I have a lot of them. Now, one thing about doing when you get a multi-quantity, especially brand new items, you don't want to put all the quantity in there, but you got to be on top and keep that quantity updated. So if you sell one or two, Go back through and update the quantity. And that's what I've been doing with this. So it's these ones right here. So we'll pull one of each one. And it's back here somewhere if we can reach it. There we go. And let's move this to the side. Oh, great. Now set them off. <laughs> okay. Picked up an entire box of these and it had 26 complete sets and then it had some miscellaneous. I haven't listed the miscellaneous yet. The whole entire box I paid $15 for. I said 26 sets. It's actually I had 23 sets in there. So just selling one of these, which I've already sold multiple of them, uh, puts us well into the profit. These sold for $26.06, and the buyer is paying $16.20 in shipping. Now, previously I had looked it up, so I know where these are shipping to. I thought the shipping was kind of high, so I had to look it up. These are actually shipping to the great state of Alaska. So here we go. Next item going out, this is a, I lotted two of them together because selling them individually just didn't make sense and I just wanted to push them out. These I put times two oil Olay complete all day moisturizing with, with broad spectrum SPF 15 normal 6.0 fluid ounces. These are on bin H so we're coming back over to the first aisle. And there they are right there. Pull one and two. So into each bottle from a local thrift store for a dollar. These two sold for $23.45. And the buyer is paying $8.85 in shipping. And the last item going out happens to be right here. Um, you've seen me sell these before. These are the Kodak Carousel. These are the 80 slide trays in the original box. Picked these up when I went up to visit family in Nevada. When I went thrifting, paid $1.20 for each of them. Do you work here? Yeah. If I bought all of these, right. would you do $1.50? Then $1.99. As 
If I bought them all. How, what are they priced at right now? They're $1.99. And you want to do 150 for all of them? For, I'm good on that. Okay. Actually, I might even do better if you take okay. the whole bin over there. Yep, I'm swimming. Found two back there. I, I won't take that loose one, though. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Leonard, they thought, you know, they stop on these in the back, in the, the store. Oh, yeah, that's that's a, a slide from the TV, but I don't know if it works. Do you have a, one of these projectors? I have... I seen one, it was an off-brand, it I wasn't Kodak. Like, it's like, it looks like, if you look at it, it looks like a TV. Yeah, I'll take a look slides, at that. But it's... It's in my back warehouse, and I can't. I, you'd have to come back tomorrow. Okay. That, or come back in like forty-five minutes. Yeah, we probably won't be that long. We're heading back to Dayton here in a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, let me, let me slide this over here. I'll be able to take it. I just set this right here for now. I'm still looking. They take up a lot of room, so I'm just trying to move them out. So I'm lighting up big lots of them and just trying to move them out. So it's these ones right here. So as you can see, it's got Kodak on it. And it's all five of these. And you can see I still have more of these. I probably listed them too high. So what I'll probably do is readjust those listings just to move them out because I need space because I've been listing like crazy. So five of these going out. Just gonna pick up one of these. I don't wanna pick up all five of these. These are the Kodak carousel trays. Probably something not a good thing to pick up unless you get them very, very cheap. I'm into these for, like I said, $1.20. Probably something I wouldn't pick up again. They take up a lot of room. They don't move out quick. Just takes the right buyer. So would definitely leave these things behind unless you get them for pennies on the dollar. These sold for $19.51. And the buyer is paying more for shipping, Shit, I did it again. I forgot to press record on the camera. I just went through all the sales. Now I gotta go back and do it again. For you, it's the first time. For me, I'm going through it again. All right, so here in uh, Carson City, Nevada, getting ready to go into In and Out. Right, now do it. <laughs> <laughs>